वेलकम टू इंग्लिश कुमार भारती यूनिट 1.1 वेयर द माइंड इज विदाउट फियर वी बिगिन विद द पोएम वेयर द माइंड इज विदाउट फियर रविंद्रनाथ टैगोर 1861 टू 1941 वाज द ऑथर ऑफ गीतांजलि एंड इट्स प्रोफाउंडली सेंसिटिव फ्रेश एंड ब्यूटीफुल वर्स He became the first non-European to win the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1913. This poem is one of his vastly read and discussed poem. It was originally composed in Bengali and later he himself translated it into English. This poem is from his Nobel Prize winning anthology Gitanjali. Tagore lived during the time when india was ruled by the british in this poem besides political freedom from british tagore also appeals to god for social educational and economic freedom for the people of india where the mind is without fear and the head is held high where knowledge is free where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls where words come out from the depth of truth where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit where the mind is led forward by thee into ever widening thought and action into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake Let us now understand the meaning of the poem. This poem had been written before India gained her independence. Here the poet expresses this dream of how a free India would be. The poet prays to the Almighty that his countrymen should be free from any fear of oppression or compulsion. He wishes that everyone in his country has his head held high in dignity the poet dreams of a nation where knowledge would be free all children should learn freely from the nature and the world around them the poet continues to imagine his country free from the shackles of differences between them tagore expresses his desire for a nation where people are truthful the poet wants everyone to work hard to reach their goal and in the long run to reach perfection he wants the stream of reason not to lose its way into the desert of prejudices the poet wishes his countrymen to be progressive and broad minded he wants that their minds are led forward to ever widening thought and action by the almighty He asks him to awaken his country into such a heaven of freedom where the above conditions meet. The poet prays to the Almighty, my father to raise or lift, awake his country to such heights where freedom would be realized at its best, a heaven of freedom. He is actually praying that God awakens his countrymen so that they come out from the darkness of ignorance. prejudices disunity and all other evils this was a very inspiring poem by tagore i'm sure we can resonate with his feelings and think about our own thoughts on how our perfect india should be